and welcome back to Ages How You Wear It. I miss you guys. I say that every time, don't I? All right. Let me take these glasses off so you can see me. Not much going on today, guys. I, as you see in the beginning, I went to a football game. Let me tell you something. And you tell me if I'm wrong or not. They say money is the root of all evil. Me personally, I think people are the root of evil when they want to be evil. Money is to be enjoyed. I'm sorry. Give me some money. So I went to the football game, but for the first time, I went to the football game, not as, uh, you know, you're either in the nosebleed, the good seats, or in the middle somewhere, um, and you're used to just going in, sitting down, uh, getting you something if you want to spend that money in there because you know it's it's expensive. But it's the enjoyment of the atmosphere, the game, and all that. But when you go and you go with box seats and club access, whole nother ball game that I did not know about. A whole nother ball game. Uh, the next time I go, I make sure I film the inside. It was so many people, so much going on. That's why you saw the outside. It was just too much going on. It's my first time in there, so I wanted to look around. I wanted to see what was happening. Um, it started raining, and even though we was in the box seats, you know, it's you're not quite underneath um, something that could shield you, but you can go into the club. And they have gigantic big screen TVs that you can watch while you wait for the rain to stop. Or it's a pathway underneath that you can stand and wait for the rain to stop it. Also, I had a $24 drink. Did you hear me? A $24 drink lasted me pretty much the day. She won't plan. I said, mix me what you can with some coconut because I wanted some coconut rum, and it was the top shelf uh, bar. You got the top shelf bar, you got other bars, but I'll show you all that next time I go. But I said, hook me up. I don't like sweet drinks. So she played no games. She played no games for that $24. I was right. Talking, laughing, giggling with people, and you know I don't do that. But I digress. The food, I don't eat a lot of things, right? So I don't eat your basic stuff. So therefore, um, it really didn't have anything. I just got me some fries. Uh, but if you eat, they had Philly cheese steak. They had, it was just so much. So what I got planned for you? Well, you know, every time I get a package in, I save it for you so that we can go over that. Um, what things have I been doing? Well, um, I went to the movies and saw Barbarian. I wasn't ready for it, okay? I wasn't ready for it. It reminds me of another movie. It reminds me of um, uh, when the lady got married and then they tried to kill her. I'll put the name of the movie here or you might not. I might not. I don't know. But Barbarian is worth going to see. It was very good. It's not what you expect. That's what made it um, so good. I saw Pearl, which you know is the prequel to Rated X. If you don't know what Rated X is, then you will not know what Pearl is. That lady was crazy. So Rated X had her older. Pearl is her younger when she first started killing. She crazy. Okay, uh, so I watched that. Go see it if you like those um, psycho killer, but female. That's what it made it sweet. I'm scared to watch the Jeffrey Dahmer special on Netflix. I'm so horrified to turn it on. So many people are talking about it. They're saying it is just raw and ridiculous and 
one hand i feel like okay we know what the man did he did it to mostly black men that was his preference um he had he was crazy period okay so let's think of it this way i know a lot of people say he maybe he was um a um racist but don't forget this is psycho killer okay this is psycho killer who just like they have preference for women psycho killer he just had preference for men and he preferred black young black men that was his sexual perverse preference creepy and it tells you how by the research that i've done it tells you not glorifying him but tells you how society the police how he got away with it for so long was because he was white and the people he was killing was black. And Netflix is not glorifying him as a killer, but the guy who planned him, you know him from a lot of psycho type roles, right? So, I know he's off the chain. I know. Uh, day shift with uh, Jamie Foxx and uh, Snoop Dogg. Very interesting take on a vampire. And I think it's going to come out with another season. So this was first, This was the first um, uh, showings of it. Go watch that as well. Pretty good. Uh, later on, I'm going to show you some foods that I've been eating. Not foods, but just some things that I've been enjoying. I haven't showed you that in a while. So the first item I got, let's go ahead and get into it because you know I don't like to keep you. The first item I got is this hat from Amazon. Look at this hat, guys. And you know I'm going to put it right here. This hat, and I'm going to show it to you up close. I like the way you see how the designs is and it's black. I can put it on this, uh, what do they call them? Ball caps or caps? Um... I usually wear bucket hats, but I wanted something I could throw on when you have hair days that you just want to cover up. But I want it to look cute and match my black because I got some black slides that go perfect with this, with this that I got from H&M. Throw it on. I like to throw them on with a little scarf. I don't know why. I feel like, and I know you're going to think this is crazy, but I feel like if my hat fall off, at least I had something on under my I had something look decent under it. I, I know that's probably weird. But this is the first item new that I've gotten in. This Amazon cap. Um, I'm wearing my uh, vintage uh, handmade clip-ons and um, very little makeup. I just did the eyes. Put something around my eyes to make my you know, make me not look so sleepy. I don't know. No lashes or anything like that. No foundation or nothing. And I'm wearing my very favorite. If you don't get nothing else. And I know Fenty came out with theirs. And I think I might try just to compare. But this is the Dior Lip Glow Oil. I've showed you this before. Oh, I love this. I have it on my lips now. It makes my lips so moisturized and nice. So, also, I got a little fashion for you. So, let's start with the fashion first. I have, I'm going to put each one of the little snippets, or I might put a picture, don't know yet, of me wearing, because it is jean time. I'm ready to wear jeans. I am obsessed with jeans right now. So, when I go to work, follow me on Instagram. I am age to age is how you wear it. On Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. You can always find me. Um, so, I'm just obsessed with jeans right now. So, now I'm ready to wear jeans to work. But a lot of my jeans, I can't wear to work. Because you can't wear anything ripped. Even though it's so fashionable. I love it. But, it's the workplace. Can you dress like that in the workplace? But, we can wear jeans. 
as long as you know it looks nice so i'm obsessed and that is what i'm gonna wear a lot of to work this fall and winter so i've showed you je these jeans before but if you knew these white jeans i'm wearing it right here they are uh by free people I got them a little oversized, so they're a little baggy, but I like it like that. I love the rip in the knees and then the raw hem at the bottom. They buckle. They buckle. <laughs> they button up the middle with these nice silver buttons. And silver and white is gorgeous together. You know that. And they got pockets in the back just love these white jeans hair which you see right here is my H&M um, these are the relax fit men's and yes they are oversized as well I love oversized jeans and they are also ripped in the knee but I just love the way it's ripped it's different type of rip and I like the way it's distressed and ripped and they are long enough for me to cuff them so I just love that that I what I'm wearing and here it is right here the outfit these are by Fashion Nova and you know it's a good pair of Fashion Nova jeans even though I ain't got nothing back there worth displaying but I still love the way Fashion Nova jeans look on your body and they are very distressed all the way through including i love the way it's distressed going into the um the bottom of the pants and sorry guys um and they just look so nice i really like these as well And to celebrate, and the reason why I did a little videos on jeans is because I have my newest pair. These. They're from, they are called Raw? Wait a minute. No, they're called G Star Raw. And I'll try to find a picture right here. They are high waist. Wiley, honey, everything, everything. And they are the dark blue, that vintage looking blue. And they got the big pockets in the back. And when I say high waisted, look at that, look at that wide leg. What I like is that it's wide leg all the way through. It just gets wider and wider. And I cannot wait to wear these. When I say high-waisted, they come all the way up. All the way up to the breast, honey. They are rib cage up. You understand me? And I'm going to put me... And the thing I like about high-waisted jeans is the fact that even if you have a tummy, y'all know I have a tummy. And... Um, especially a fupa. There's a difference. A tummy. Sometimes you have a tummy that's top and bottom. Like one round tummy. And then you have where you flatter up top. But you got a fupa. Which is the bottom part. Right above your uh, pel right, uh, pelvis. Right above your. Yeah. Anyway. So it's a fupa, and that's what I have that I'm working so very hard, but not hard enough. High-waisted would make that look like, bam, snatched, even though it's there. Um, and put that on with a shirt inside or crop. Never put a high-waisted jean on and then try to still cover it up with some big shirt. You will think you have to cover it up. When in actuality, you look smaller with something cropped or tucked in, even with the belly, when you have on high-waisted pants. So when I style these for you, um, you'll see it. 
but I need to get a little cooler before I'm ready to style these because these are definitely fall winter pants. So, but you will see them. All right, so the next thing is Zara. Now, every now and then I find something I like from Zara. I just did a, a big Shein order, um, but it's nothing but bodysuits. So when that comes in, I'll show you that. It's nothing but bodysuits. And I'm gonna have an H&M order too, but I need to go through my, I need to go through my fall and winter clothes that I packed away, because I live in Florida. We have fall and winter, maybe 30 days worth. But I have like a, a, a whole year worth, worth of winter and fall clothes. I have got to get from, I need to get somewhere where we have nice fall weather more than five minutes. But I saw these and you know every now and then because I'm, I'm balling on a budget, okay? You will see me, I will get luxury items, but I usually get them secondhand and high end but i love thrifting so the if i can find the look thrifted i like that better or if i can redo something to make the look like this shirt i got on do y'all remember if you've been following me this shirt was white or you know the cream antique white and i spilled something on it and it never came out so it was it just messed the shirt up and mostly you'll try to donate or throw it away no baby i will throw that it this in a bucket and i will change the color and make it look like this if i have to instead of throwing it away it was absolutely nothing wrong with this top and now it has this tie-dye green tan looking color and I am going to rock this shirt okay so what did I get from Zara guys and I'll put a picture here this you can't really holding it up doesn't do it justice it's a very chocolate brown mini skirt I mean mid skirt mid midi you know when it's not long but it's not short um and this was would look so good styling it with some type of graphic tee so, oh i just don't know i have so many ideas that i'm gonna wear this and you can see the brown see the brown that's what color it is and can you imagine this with a graphic tee oh why do i keep sorry i hit this can you imagine this with a graphic tee on or something um, um, a little more like um, in the winter, some type of leather jacket or leather blazer or just making it soft and fem um, <laughs> feminine and masculine at the same time. So be on the lookout for this skirt. And I usually don't buy stuff full price, but I wanted this skirt right here. So, yeah. And you know I usually don't buy nothing full price. So, that's that. H&M. You know, I love these shoes. If you, I'm so glad I'm unpackaging them so that I can wear them now. Um... And the color is everything. And they were on sale. And I had my membership thing. So I only paid like $11 for these. Oh, you know, I, I have so many shoes like this. They are so comfortable to throw on. They Any shoe like this is so comfortable. You know, I got the Gucci ones. I have uh, the black ones I got from H&M, and now I have these green ones. I have the red and black ones from Coach. I have some uh, Ugg ones. Great, you can dress these up or down. You can, 
I've worn with dresses, looking cute, but you want to walk around, but you don't want to have on no heels. Absolutely. These are everything. I hope I can fit them because they've been sitting in my um room for a while. Oh, yes. These are perfect. And then the last thing I have to show you is my, um, which one of these? Uh, Gia... Giovito Rossi. Yeah, I think it's Giovito Rossi. I got these second hand. Look at these. The take on the sock heel. It has the lace, the peep toe. That beautiful heel is black. I'm saving these especially for fall. These are sex C and they were barely. So those are my items, guys. And now let's go in the kitchen. I'm gonna show you some stuff that I'm just loving. All right, right. I am back. So I'm downstairs in my kitchen. I heated up my Starbucks coffee because today I just needed my pumpkin spice latte. But you know, I've been making my own coffee, saving money. But that pumpkin spice latte just have me in a freaking grip hold. It's wrong and it's not right. Mm. So delicious. Okay, let me hurry up because I got to put my food back in the freezer. So what have I been enjoying lately? First, let's start with the sea bass. It is the... Better fish, Burramondi uh, sea bass. I got it from BJ's. Even though I love Costco's, BJ's had a sale where you can get $25 for a year. So I wanted to try it because it's right down the street from me. And this sea bass from there, or sea bass in general, wherever you get sea bass from. I really like sea bass with the skin on. Like I like fish with the skin on. I actually eat the skin. I like it uh, blackened, leave my skin on, yes. But that's okay, I will only get the ones that are not skinned. Let's talk vegan. Oh gosh. Guys, this is Tattooed Chef. And this is the cauliflower mac and cheese bowl cauliflower mac and cheese bowl if you don't get nothing else you need to try this tasty i mean tattooed chef i'm going to look them up online because this and the other one that i got is pricey it's pricey but it's worth pasta it looked like it is but it's not it is cauliflower mac and cheese, vegetarian. Oh. Besides my daughter's real mac and cheese, she make the best mac and cheese I've ever tasted. She makes the best macaroni and cheese, but that's rich and it's not vegetarian or vegan, but I eat it every time I go there because I don't eat it at all. But I found this one. Mm, mm, mm. They also got the plant-based beef burrito bowl. This is plant-based right here. So it's vegan, gluten-free, and 15 grams of protein. This is $15 a box. And you only get four. $14.99 a box. Worth every freaking dime. Because I can eat these bowls for dinner. Like one bowl is fills me up. Um, let me show you what this looks like. Even though I but this is what the bowl looks like. Um, it's got 
uh, cilantro rice mixed with rice, cauliflower, plant-based beef, roasted corn, black beans tossed in a jalapeno, uh, like in a jalapeno type sauce. Guys, take this picture. So instead of eating a lot of sweets and all that, let me tell you what this is. They're called Allen Way Sorbet. And they are handmade fruit sorbet and natural fruit shells. Yep, they're in the actual fruit shells. They are only 70 to 130 calories, depending on which one you're eating. They're gluten-free. Uh um, non GMO. Let me show you. So one of them is the pineapple sorbet. It's in a actual pineapple shell. See that pineapple shell? An actual pineapple shell. And then the sorbet is in there. You eat that. Let me show you the orange. Here is the orange. So you see it's in a natural orange and it's the sort the sorbet in there. Sorbet is like uh I don't know how to describe it. It's like a mixture between it's not quite icy. You know, you have the icy with the flavoring on top. It's more than that. It's creamy. It tastes just like it, like a lemon, like an orange. So that's the lemon. Wait, that was the orange. Here is the lemon. There's the lemon. It's a lemon. So they put it in real fruit shells and they put the uh, sorbet inside the shells. Now this is exclusive to BJ's. So here's the name of it. In case you wanna take a picture. When I tell you, in a, you know at night, you, you ate dinner already, right? Because I eat dinner pretty early. I don't like having a full stomach before going to sleep. So I eat very early in the day. Um, and then at night, instead of going to try to find some chocolate, some chips, stuff like that, I will just put one of my fruit things out, let it melt because it's frozen. So you let it melt. That's the point. Don't eat it like an icy. Let it melt. Stir it up and eat that jank. You think you're eating a lemon, or orange, a pineapple, and it's got grapefruit. Let it defrost. Don't eat it. Some people might want to eat it frozen like that, but I don't like it like that. It's a sorbet. It's not an icy. Mix that drink up. Oh, you know, trying to eat healthy all the time is so expensive. They make it like that so that you won't eat healthy. For real though, it's, it's, it's true. They're there to make money off of consumers. So if you notice, the more unhealthy the food is, the cheaper it is, and you can get it. Even though now they're trying to make everything high. They're using us as always. Consumers get the just we just although we the ones spending the money, they they be messing with us. That's why I say I will stop eating something altogether if you try to make your prices outrageous. I will stop eating you. And as a consumer, we need to start really hitting them in their pockets by not purchasing their stuff. That's the only way we can do it. It is. It's the only way we can do it. That's buying clothes buying food freaking starbucks dunkin donuts any other food things if us as consumers stop coming to you because of the prices or the way you treat people or anything you will be hitting your pot we will hit them in a pot so as you know it's the end of the video and i always have some devotion for you so that we can connect because we got to start connecting with each other. I keep saying that. We have got, this world is, <laughs> this world going to hell in a hair basket. And we got to start getting together and, and raising each other up and 
building each other up and putting on some armor because when you walk out that door, you need to be armored up. So, for those who stayed so they can hear the word, let's get to it. One voice. May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another. In accord with Christ Jesus, that together you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that's Romans uh, 15, 5 through 6. By God's grace, we press on. This life is wrought with difficulties and our own preservance will at some point expire. God's grace has no end. He will always offer us that endurance and encouragement we need. Often God's mode of communication is through other believers. So, through other believers, through me and you. This is one more reason why it is so vital that we have that we live harmoniously together, pursuing peace and having grace. Just like when we're singing a song with others, we each have our own part, but we blend voices to sing together with one united voice. So, what's the word? We have got to stand together. Believers must get together. I'm talking true believers. I'm not talking about hell and brimstone. Everybody's going to hell, believers. I'm talking about those who encourage, who who try to build people up with the word, who does God's work and not their own. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.